Hello guys, welcome back. Seth Donald here. This is the Daily Grind and this is Saint Seiya Awakening. I'm using the Chinese server uh, to showcase one of the characters and this, this is going to make me change the whole uploading order for the showcases because this is now a, a, a re-recording of the showcase uh, because it's been confirmed just a few minutes ago to me that the next banner for Saint Seiya Awakening is going to be another double banner it's going to be Aries Xion along with Aries Mu so just let me cache my stuff right here the Chinese server and let's jump right into Aries Xion he is the former Grand Pope of Athena. Here he is, Arius Sean, and the master of Mu. He is the guy that taught Mu how to repair clothes and all the techniques of the Arius Saint. Arius Sean is a physical type character that is also. Uh, a barrier character like Mu, but unlike him, you can actually do some damage with Xion very early on. Mine is not very well built, so let's go check his skills. His basic is the um, it's a telekinesis attack. It's actually a scaled down version of his main power, the Stardust Revolution and has a pretty hefty uh, physical power strike. He starts at 100%, ends up at 120% with fully upgraded. Then it's his barrier. Um, unlike Mu, he cannot set uh, several barriers. He can only give barrier to one character at a time and it benefits more when he is the, re the recipient of said barrier. It's the crystal wall but on him looks like a honeycomb surrounding the character. It's the exact same technique and it's also based off his HP. Unlike Mu, he doesn't reflect damage uh, uh, stored on his shield. Uh, it starts at 20% of his base HP and it lasts two turns and when maxed out it's 36% of the base HP that Xion has. So it's way, way farther, much, much chunkier than what Mu has, obviously because he is the master, but has an added benefit that I hadn't realized before. I had to go check the translations for the skill. It also gives complete protection against control spells, except of course, the another dimension from the Pope Arles uh, it cannot give protection against banishing and Andromeda Shun can still tie the character protected by the shield that's the reason he can only give shield to one character because then he will be way too overpowered uh, next is his main power, the Stardust Revolution. He concentrates his Cosmo and sends several falling stars towards the opponent and does a massive amount of damage that starts at 200% the rating uh, that, that Xion has for physical damage. But it also sacrifices some of his health up to 30% of his maximum HP is sacrificed to trigger this particular technique. But it's very, very powerful and the damage increases if he is surrounded by his crystal wall. So there's that to take into consideration. And the damage increase is given by this uh, passive that he has. 
that can give himself a pretty pretty heavy amount of damage mine is not very well built be mostly because at the stage we are at at the chinese server uh, there is this thing that is called eight cents and i haven't worked on uh, Xion, not because he's bad, just because I haven't had the resources and he needs a very particular set of cosmos and that has made me wonder uh, because Xion was a very late addition to the to the Chinese server. In the Chinese server we went through uh, uh, Chris Aor and Canon then uh, we had Andromeda, Sean, uh, where is he, uh, here. This Andromeda Sean, who is not very good, but he was before Sean. And this guy was the last character we had before Poseidon. So very obviously, the Singapore version is doing whatever they want with the release. I have also discovered that if you go down uh, into the Spectre Tower, if you reach floors 9, 10, and 11, all these characters are already in the game. They are just disabled, because I have faced teams in the, in the, the Spectre Tower. Uh, I have faced teams with Cannon, I have faced teams with Grisaur, and with Xion. So all these characters are already in, they are just disabled. Now, when Xion launched, that's when they started doing the eight cents stuff in the temples that we have had for, for a couple of weeks now. Uh, those temples you level up with the flowers. Well, that's uh, the time when Xion was releasing the Chinese version. That's when those temples came out and that's where a lot of, of extra cosmos were made available. And that was also the beginning of the eight cents and the uh, star life space is called in, in China. Well, now, uh, that, that part, that means that whatever order we had for the Chinese version is already moot. They are going to release these characters uh, whenever they feel they can make good sales. And I'm not enjoying the fact they're making a lot of double banners because that actually reduces your chances of getting the character that you want. Now, Mu is not a bad character. It's very fittingly and, and thematic that they release both area saints at the same time in a, in a single banner. Uh, but that's not going to be uh, profitable for the players. It's going to be very, very difficult in this version, even though the Awakening, the Singapore version, has better drop rates. Having double banners is just asking for trouble. Your, your actual chances of getting the characters is going to be reduced. Uh, that said, let's go into his stats. And just like Mu, he has a ton of HP, which he needs because he sacrifices HP to cast his main power. As you can see his Cosmo attack is zero. Uh, whatever you see on the right column, it's just from Cosmos that I have equipped that are not optimal, obviously. Has um, so so defense, Cosmo defense and physical defense are uh, middle ground, even though they are rated A. That's low numbers for a five star saint. And of course, um, his cosmo, uh, his physical, his physical attack rating is C. That's very low, but that's because he doesn't use this. Like Mu doesn't use his cosmo attack to calculate the damage on the starlight extinction. Uh, Xion uses the amount of HP he sacrifices is proportional to the amount of damage that he's going to produce. That's why mine is not very good. He should be already over 40,000 HP points. And speed, he's not very fast, 
but you don't want Xion to be fast because you want to assess what character you want to get rid of in the enemy side. And all of these you're going to change with this. Um, this legendary cosmos is not enabled on the awakening version so let's see if they release this legendary cosmos along with these medals that give a ton of extra HP and uh, status resistance. That said, let's take Xion for a ride over a training hall because this is not yet the time to... Well, um, the galaxy the galaxy fights are over in the Chinese version by now at the time I'm recording this video so this is not going to be very showy because my Xion is not very well built I was Xion was going to be one of the last characters I was going to to do a showcase for precisely because I don't have him very well built up but let's hope you can at least see some of his stuff and okay that's fragile guys over there so let me change some of this stuff by the way uh, I just realized by reading the guide over at the awakening version and turns out that the team you use for the quick uh, showdown uh, like this oh he's slower than Doko so let's just bring well characters that are in in awakening I need a healer and I don't need extra energy I need this the uh, the god favors the divine favors are something that they should implement soon what the hell uh let's hope i i didn't fuck this up all right So I have to get some energy from these guys and with, all, with Xion you usually go first for the big strike. This thing with a properly built Xion can hit to, I, I have seen that hit versus level 80 characters with proper cosmos is still hit for over 35,000 points of damage. So this guy is a killer. Uh, he should be one of your of your first targets during a fight. So let's give him a double turn. Because I'm gonna need uh, to increase his damage with the shield. Like this, give himself shield, and then I should do extra damage with this. Like that. Doesn't work if it's the crystal wall from Mu. It has to be his own shield. Like this, and then you strike. The good thing is that he cannot kill himself using that power. If his HP is brought down to zero from using the start of revolution, then will he will come back to one HP. Like this, and let's get rid of Camus now. Now, if my Xion was uh, 
chunkier, then he will do even more damage. But let's see... Uh, um, for example, if I give shield to Shura... He cannot be frozen now. And that shield is going to last for two turns. And of course... That shield is also calculated based off the base HP of Xion, so the chunkier your Xion is, the more damage the shield can absorb. Uh, he cannot repair, as, as far as I know, he cannot repair the shield, and you cannot stack the shield. Like, um, uh, la, unlike Mu, you take a turn, and any shield that Mu has on the field has a chance to repair itself and add extra shield on top of that. That doesn't happen with the one with Xion. God damn it, that's why I hate the WhatsApp group because they just keep asking for stuff. Uh, well, anyways, that's a quickie just so you have a, a heads up. I have 55 summoning stars over at the awakening version so uh, as soon as maintenance is finished tomorrow night because that's the time when Xion is going to be released the banner on awakening says two days uh, but that's considering that uh, for example for me right now it's around 10 o'clock in the morning so that's 10 p.m. for them uh, but that's still today so tomorrow after reset counts as, as one day after midnight for them that's one day and then on the next day after the server maintenance the the Xion banner is going to be live so I think I'm gonna be making a summoning video that's going to be at least 60 stars because I haven't cashed my my splits if you're wondering what I'm talking about, uh, you can sacrifice your B or A cards. Well, you can even sacrifice your, your S cards. Um, but any, any repeat cards that you have, you can come to this screen and sacrifice them to get a Stardust. And you use that Stardust over here every week on Sunday on Sunday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, the store resets for the week and you get five summoning stars that you can cash with that Stardust, that blue Stardust. Uh, to get all five, it's 200 Stardust and you get five each week for free. So I haven't gotten mine on the Awakening version, so I'm gonna cash those in today. So, I have some extra summons for Xion tomorrow night. So, I'm going to be making a video. Stay tuned. Uh, the video is going to probably go live. Usually, the maintenance is at 5 p.m. by um, 8 or 9 p.m. Central. I'm going to be recording and then at maybe 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Uh, on Tuesday night uh, the video should have finished uploading yeah, I'm doing this in a hurry um, so we'll, it will be live to see if I'm able to get this character on the awakening version if you're just starting out uh, stop, <laughs> stop pulling for a YOLOS and instead get Xion. He's a better single target character that is way, way cheaper to use and somewhat harder to gear up, but he's a better investment in the long run. So that said, uh, thank you guys for watching. 
I'm very, very happy with how the channel is turning out. So remember to subscribe, leave a comment below, and we'll be seeing each other on Tuesday night. In the meantime, keep grinding on.